26 years old, some people have written you off. What message are you sending with this performance and with this title? I'm like a witch and you can't kill me. I keep coming back every year and every year I get better. 28 years old, skating the best you ever have in your life. How do you explain that to people? I can't explain witchcraft. What is, what is going on there? That's a ring of my profession. You don't know nothing about that. Okay, well, can we get a close up on that area? Yeah, what, don't know nothing about what is the profession? Yeah, which profession are we talking about? Just look at it. Is it a legal profession? Of course it's legal. It's a ring of my profession. I'm trying to read it. Okay. Right, it's too many diamonds. Ah! Yeah, that's too bright. That's too bright. Well, anyway. Oh, anyway. Mason, are you a Mason? Of course I am. Okay. Uh, I became a master Mason a 32nd degree Mason, a member of the Shriners. I was a member of two Masonic lodges. I served as principal officer in one of those lodges. I was about to be elected worshipful master before I left. And I received a very rare credential called the proficiency card, which authorized me to instruct other Masons in Masonic ritual. It literally requires a man to have committed to memory all of the rituals of Blue Lodge Freemasonry all of the positions and that's what I could do so I know what Freemasonry teaches because I taught it myself America was founded by Freemasons and the ideology of Freemasonry is enshrined in the US Constitution for example the establishment clause where the government won't respect any religion that's a denial of the social kingship of our Lord Jesus Christ the free exercise clause, which gives man a right to practice any religion. Again, contrary to the Catholic faith. And so America lives the religion of Freemasonry. That's why Masonry is not deemed to be a threat. And it was, in fact, United States Supreme Court justices who created the doctrine of separation of church and state in the United States. Under Presidents Roosevelt, Truman, and Eisenhower, all of whom were Freemasons, they appointed in collectively 12 Supreme Court justices, all of whom were Masons. And from 1941 to 1971, Masons dominated the Supreme Court. And through those judicial decisions, created the Masonic doctrine of separation of church and state. In the first degree of Freemasonry, and th these rituals are rituals that are universal. All men who go into Freemasonry experience what I'm going to tell you. In the first degree, the candidate for Freemasonry was required to strip down, take all his clothes off except his underwear, but that's not all. He's also required to remove his crucifix, his scapular, even his wedding ring. Because as the ritual specifically says, a man is to take nothing, quote, offensive or defensive into the lodge offensive because Catholicism offends Freemasonry and defensive because they want the man vulnerable. They do not want him to have a spiritual offense. Also a noose is placed around the man's neck and this noose symbolizes his his attachment to the profane world, his former religion. You will see that that noose is removed when he finally enters into the covenant with Freemasonry. A blindfold is also placed on his eyes, and he is declared to be in a state of spiritual darkness. They said, this is Mr. John Salza, who has long been in darkness and now seeks to be brought to light. Well, I only had the blindfold on for a couple minutes. They were obviously talking about the fact that even though I was baptized into the light of Jesus Christ, I was in a state of spiritual darkness. And then when the man comes into the lodge, he's received on the point of a sharp instrument piercing his naked left breast and they say that as this is an instrument of torture to your flesh so should the recollection of it be to your conscience should you ever violate your secrets in Freemasonry this is an intimidation tactic that's used even in satanic ritual this is an intimidation tactic that's used even in satanic rituals Freemasonry sets the tone early right away that this is a secret organization when the candidate is escorted into the lodge, he is caused to kneel and attend to prayer. And here's where he now begins to be conditioned to view God as the deity of any and every religious faith. Freemasonry prays to a God they call the grand architect of the universe, under which you can find, according to Masonry, all the gods. So even though St. Paul says that Jesus' name is the name above all names, Freemasonry says that God is the nameless one of a hundred names. St. Paul teaches that we cannot be yoked together with unbelievers. 
We know the spiritual axiom, lex orandi, lex credendi. That's because if we pray with Masons, we will begin to believe like Masons. Masonry not only evokes deity in prayer, but it also has unique symbols and names for God. I mentioned the grand architect of the universe. In English-speaking lodges, the God of Masonry is represented by the letter G. And in the Masonic Bible, which they give their initiates, which is a King James translation of the Bible with its own Masonic appendix, it says that the letter G represents, quote, the great God of all Freemasons. Masonry also is, uh, the God of Masonry is all represented by the all-seeing eye, which is clearly a pagan symbol going back to Osiris. And every Mason is required to bow in an act of idolatry to these symbols in Masonic ritual. So Freemasonry, through the use of these unique names, unique symbols, and unique prayers, seeks to unite men into a spiritual brotherhood and also the deities of all these religions into a spiritual godhead. This is a monstrous form of syncretism. Because the god of masonry is not the holy trinity, it is a false god, and it's an abomination before the true god. As St. Paul says, there are many gods and many lords, but only one true god and one lord, Jesus Christ. David tells us in the Psalms that all the gods of the nations are devils, and hence the god of Freemasonry is the devil. And hence the god of Freemasonry is the devil. First level witchcraft and first level masonry initiation is identical. The only difference is that my wrist was cut and I signed a blood pack and that I was nude and they are clothed. That's the only difference. The words, the act, the tying, the blindfold, the charge, everything, even the pledge of secrecy is exactly the same. There's no difference. And the sixth level initiation of witchcraft blood sacrifice is the same initiation to the highest level of masonry, the 35th, called the right of the warrior on the block. 35th degree. The 31st degree, which most of our politicians are 35th degree masons. In the initiation in Freemasonry, we had to be recommended by another mason. Well, in order to join witchcraft, you have to be first screened you have to be recommended by somebody currently in witchcraft. Well, when I was initiated, I was blindfolded and bound by a rope. And on your bare chest was thrust the point of a spear. In witchcraft, we were initiated through a, uh, a very involved ritual, uh, initiation ceremony, uh, wherein the uh, candidate was led uh, blindfolded, uh, bound by a rope, uh, to the edge of uh, the uh, magic circle. And the rope is around your neck and you're led forward. And up front, in the eastern end of the building, is a person who's a worshipful master. And you kneel down before him as if he were a god. What is your problem? Just that, sir. Okay. I'm a Christian, sir. I'm pure and virtuous and wholesome and innocent. How can you say anything to bite about me? Sir, you need to be born again. Is I am born again. Is that, now, did you just say that you are Lucifer? I am Lucifer. Okay, define Lucifer for me. Pure, virtuous, wholesome, innocent individual that's out to help people. Lucifer is? Yeah. Luc say that again. Lucifer is a pure, holy... Virtuous. Virtuous. Now, see the Lucifer that God created? That's the same one. So they invented the term white witchcraft, or white magic, and black magic, which is in their books will tell you that it doesn't exist as it was mentioned in star wars and yet when they're trying to convert a christian they will say they're white witch and not a black witch and yet they'll tell you in their books it doesn't exist which means they'll say anything to convert you but uh there is no such thing the devil is evil and you can't white wash him or anything he does you were met uh by the uh, high priest or high priestess uh, at that time usually with a sword uh, to your chest when I went to enter the lodge, a sharp object was put to my left breast. And I was warned that should I reveal any of the secrets of Freemasonry uh, to know what to expect. When you're presented before the high priest, a sword is held against your chest and you actually take a blood oath, promising to remain faithful to the secrets of witchcraft. Well, when you are in the room, this um, blindfold is taken away from you 
And this is a time when they say that you're coming from darkness into light. During the initiation ceremony, the, the initiate is led by the lieutenant of the uh, high priest and is challenged at the edge of the circle by someone saying, who goes there? And the answer is, one from the world of darkness. In masonry, the prayers are ended with, so mote it be. Oh, and one of the other aspects of, uh, or distinctives of the craft was that we would always end any spell or ritual where we released the power, this is where the power was released, with the word, so mote it be. In the initiation in Freemasonry, we had to be recommended by another mason. Well, in order to join witchcraft, you have to be first screened, you have to be recommended by somebody currently in witchcraft. Well, when I was initiated, I was blindfolded and bound by a rope, and on your bare chest was thrust the point of a spear. In witchcraft, we were initiated through a, uh, a very involved ritual, uh, initiation ceremony, uh, wherein the uh, candidate was led uh, blindfolded, uh, bound by a rope uh, to the edge of uh, the uh, magic circle. And the rope is around your neck and your lid forward. And up front, in the eastern end of the building, is a person who's a worshipful master. And you kneel down before him as if he were a god. You were met uh, by the uh, high priest or high priestess uh, at that time, usually with a sword. Uh, to your chest. When I went to enter the lodge, a sharp object was put to my left breast. And I was warned that should I reveal any of the secrets of Freemasonry uh, to know what to expect. When you're presented before the high priest, a sword is held against your chest and you actually take a blood oath promising to remain faithful to the secrets of witchcraft. Well, when you are in the room, this um, blindfold is taken away from you and this is a time when they say that you're coming from darkness into light during the initiation ceremony the the initiate is led by the lieutenant of the uh, high priest and is challenged at the edge of the circle by someone saying who goes there and the answer is one from the world of darkness they don't want to teach you who he is is that a mason you're a mason you're a mason you know that's against god I've been doing some research. That's against God, man. I'm doing research. I hope you find the truth, brother, because that's against God. You know where I am. Let me tell you thing? something. I, I believe y'all. He put me in this situation so he can show me what's going on. I'm going to be a witness. Yeah, we'll See, tell God, you what. God put you in places. Of course. I prayed before. I did all of it. Yeah, but I'm just saying, masonry, and I'm, I'm seeing it as I go deeper. I'm seeing a lot of history. I'm seeing a lot of truth. Mason, mason, masonry is, is satanic. In what part? And it's always. Always. What about the oath they take? Yeah. Okay. I see a lot of that going see? on. That oath that they take, it's satanic. Yeah. Not make it better. You're, you're in trouble, man. Huh? God, really, man. Boy, that, 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 boy, that, that thing right there, boy, it, it just tears my soul, man. See it. Good man, you that, that knows the Bible and wants to love the don't, Lord. Don't even focus on it. I can't help it. I mean, it's just, it's, it's an evil thing. I'm covered, man. Think about it, man. I'm covered. Matter of fact, really, think about it, dude. And how we how we treat it. But I'm going to tell you what. Listen to this old preacher, buddy. Go across the street, take that and throw it in the water. And I'm going to tell you what. Listen to me. As soon as that thing leaves your hand, it's wrong. You, oh, I'll get the goosebumps. You're going to feel you might feel the power of God in the time, man. And no time, what he's going to open up for you? That is strong. Yep, you're right. I tell you that I love you, dude. I'm not your daddy. No, I'm I not your daddy. I tell you that's No, you're not my daddy. I'm your brother. I'm, I'm your I'm brother, I'm walking man. with Christ, man, and he has taken so deep in me, man. He's infinite. And I pray every day to get deeper and deeper in him. His wisdom, his knowledge, and his understanding. That's right. But well, I sure hope you do get rid of me. Hope you're just not yeah. taking it off. Hope you do get rid of me. I'm so proud of you, man. You know who's more proud of you? Lord God. You, talk, you get rid of that? 